How's it going, everybody? PJ for PJ over there on uh, PJ Play on Twitch and PJ on YouTube. We're going to be back on Lawn Mowing Simulator. We're going to do about an hour. So let's jump in. Um, we've done four contracts, or do I have, maybe I have four contracts. Red wall building? What, what's happening? Things seem to be slow. Why are things slow? <laughs> purchase a headquarters. I still can't purchase a headquarters. So. Um, don't have any loans. I don't want to apply for a loan. Um, we have some opportunities here. Garden 62 Koval Street. 325. The Davies Garden, 635 pounds. Euros. Maybe it's Euros. I think that's the that's pounds though, that symbol. It's not the Euro sign. Garden at 58 Coval Street worth 325 pounds. And then I'm thinking we'll do this one. 59. It's it's not the most expensive. It's a two in complexity. Uh, we do have two one-star complexities, and then we have one that's a three-star complexity. I think we'll do this one. Garden Lawns, 59 Colvill Street. Uh, we're going to sign an employee since I'm the only one. We're going to use that vehicle, the OFS-1. We're going to grab our string trimmer. We'll confirm that. Okay, the owner of 59 Colvill Street want to improve the quality of their lawn, and so a general cut with a mulcher is required to help feed it. Extra special care needs to be taken to not damage the lawn. Or heavy fines will be incurred. Summary, small area, flat, high fines. High fines? What? Between two and three eighths and two and three quarters. Okay, that's the thing I always, always forget. Current grass range is five and a half to six and three quarters. Wow. Round check time of four minutes. Recommended cut time 15 minutes, 30 seconds. We're going to pull up there. We'll take a look. We'll do our best to not damage. This is, again, don't want to damage the ground. So did you don't want to take uh, too tight a turn, but it looks like we have some hardscape that we can use to maybe uh, maybe uh, turn around on. So hopefully we'll be able to get in there and do what the client wants. Been doing a lot of uh, car mechanic simulator, having a lot of fun with that game. Um, getting, you know, I've rebuilt... Uh, the Reptilia's engine, I rebuild the Visioner engine, I rebuilt both uh, uh, rear suspensions and brakes, um, did some work on the gas tank, new, put in a good new gas tank and fuel pump on the Visioner, so that's, I'm having a lot of fun with that, and I don't want to remember, uh, forget, I don't want to remember to forget, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this one too, so I, I don't want to forget it, so um cut requirement 99.5 percent the cut height two and three eighths to two and three quarter we have four minutes to check the grounds and then 15 minutes and 30 to cut the um grass although i'm still not i'm just trying to get through it as best i can i'm not really worried about the time constraint just yet hopefully that won't become an issue but let's go ahead and do our ground check so here we are and we're doing we're going a little fast here I think again I'm not sure why can I turn that if I hit that will that do oh we got something here newspaper one of five bottle Another newspaper. Three. So we're looking for two more objects. Garden shears, we need those. That's four. I'm assuming we also have to cut the back here, right? baseball five we got the check done everything looks good it looks relatively easy straightforward I mean as long as we don't uh, wind up taking too 
tight a turn, I think we should be all right. I think we should be all right. Okay, so we've got cut height two and three quarters to two and three eighths. I forgot, how do you, okay, Q? Oh no, that just raises it. Change the throttle. How do you, how, I forgot how to raise and lower the um, keyboard mouse. Let's see, steering accelerate, blades, that's, Raise cut height. Okay, E and C. I forgot. So if I raise the cut height, E, C. Okay. Two and three eighths to two and three quarter, correct? Um, I need to know. Two and three eighths to two and three quarter. I think I'm going to go two and three quarter just because. All right, so we've got that going. Turn our throttle up. I want to change my vision so that I'm on. Uh, I think we're going to start with the side yard over here. I think I'm just going to do straight cuts and then use this uh, brick walk. Although there is something about cleanup though too um, that I must not forget. We'll lower our deck. We're at two and three quarters, which is what we want to be at. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, whoop, oh, whoa, whoa. Seems a little touchy. Oh, oh, crud. <laughs> All right, so drop that back down. It always takes me a couple passes to remember how to use. And again, it does. It almost seems like every time I come back, there are a little. The controls are a little more touchy, just a little bit more sensitive for some reason. I'm having a hard time cutting a straight line. <laughs> bit tighter up by that planter and then like I say it's for some reason they are feeling very touchy sensitive for some reason woo, 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 woo. there we go all right got that up got this one cut looks good I think we'll take this main part over here. So, yeah, we've been doing some of the bigger jobs. I thought it would be nice just to kind of do one that looked pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, and this one looks pretty straightforward to me. 
I could probably cut it in and it probably would be better because it would save me from the possibility of making a mess on the hardscape but um, like I said they're so touchy right now I'm just gonna try and work on just getting it bombed out here may have missed a little bit there. May have to come back to that. But it is satisfying just to get a cut and have it looking nice. So anybody else enjoying the lawn uh, lawn mowing simulator? It is fun, it's cathartic very much like cutting a real lawn um, you kind of get into your own head a little bit that's one of the things that makes it hard to kind of broadcast is that you know you're just kind of going around doing your pattern and whatnot listening to the the sound of the mower um, you still I mean you get into your own head you start thinking about stuff and unfortunately thinking about stuff isn't good for broadcasting you got to kind of talk about stuff what do you <laughs> go all right so yeah so that's how that goes um, throw it out a talk topic a taco throw out a taco some <laughs> Anywho, so we're building our, um, yes, in Long Only Simulator, we are still trying to build up our business. Um, I have to take a look because we were upgrading our headquarters. Ooh, we are upgrading our headquarters. Uh, or at least we were. I'm not sure if that process is finished or not. Um... We just bog down the engine, and when you do that, normally what will happen is it doesn't cut very, very well. So you got to tend to have to go over it again. Not to mention, from the looks of it, we weren't even cutting straight, which is not good. There we go. I sh yeah, see, I shouldn't be taking a full swipe. I should be doing about a half swipe keep the engine from being uh, burdened, overburdened. Um, but again, I'm having a little bit of trouble with the dexterity, so another reason why I wanted to kind of start with a relatively simple lawn. Uh, it, takes a, it takes me a little bit usually to get back into the swing of things, start to get the uh, handle on the mower but I do keep saying you know I got the uh, I got a Logitech um, controller and I keep thinking one of these days I'm going to plug that thing in and see what it's like playing with a controller um, and then that way at least I can share that with you if I, if I found it was easier or if it was more difficult if I preferred the the uh, keyboard because I'll be honest with you I get you know the after a little bit, you'll still get into the groove and you'll start to understand uh, the keyboard mouse aspect of it a little bit better, which I think is kind of like actual mowing. You start to understand your your machine a little bit better. You start to be able to handle it a little bit better. You'd be able to make the turns, those tight, tighter turns and stuff without damaging the lawn. But uh, if you're not doing it regularly, it gets, you know, it's like starting over. It's each time you get on it, you're like uh, starting again. So, um, so I may wind up in preferring the dexterity of the uh, keyboard mouse um, to the controller. But yeah, again, one of these days I'll plug it in and I'll, I'll I'll give it a whirl and see what it's like. Um, I do have uh, wheel and pedals too, which may be the ultimate 
way of playing this game is to uh, set up the wheel and pedals. That's a little bit more of a, uh, of a hassle. First of all, my wheel and pedals is broke. <laughs> it's all because of, I got the um, Thrustmaster TMX and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I couldn't reach the uh, mute button there. But the, uh, uh, the hold down bolt broke. And now I cannot use my wheel and pedals because I don't have a hold down boat bolt. Um, the Thrustmaster website has them for sale, um, lists them for sale, but unfortunately the only place you can purchase them is in the UK because um, like you have no option to put it in a cart in the on the US uh, site. But if you go over to the uh, English site, then you, you know it's then you can put it into your then you can put it into your cart but again buying it and having it shipped here you know basically triple the cost um, so I either need to um, MacGyver something that I can use um, which kind of would work out too because if it if I can MacGyver something then I would make it so it's easier to set up and tear down um, it's kind of a hassle right now and go through a lot of rigmarole and I have other games that I'd like to play with my wheel and pedals um, so it would be more it's more of a hassle to try and, uh, but if I could do something like that then I would I would make it so it's easier to set up and tear down which hopefully would mean I would be playing those other games uh, this game and other games with my wheel and pedals more often I'm gonna try. Ugh, I missed that corner. We're gonna have to come back and clean that up. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that that's kind of good. But again, I just I have not had the time to put into it to do that. So it's kind of waiting. My brother-in-law has given me uh, an old an older wheel and pedals that he had laying around so that I can use it um, but again it's I, I don't want this to sound snobbish but once you've played with like one of the more recent wheel and pedal sets to go back to um, the old rubber band style that kind of thing uh, it's it's just not it's not the same you know <laughs> it's it's not the same I don't even it, it, it's kind of, I guess it is kind of passable but it's like the whole time you just keep it thinking to yourself this would be better if I had my other wheel you know if I had my other set so you know um, I would like to get it fixed either fixed or just buy a whole new wheel and pedal set um, which makes me upset because I liked it I liked the TMX it was a good wheel and pedal set and there's literally nothing wrong with it outside of the fact that I can't clamp it to anything so it's just kind <laughs> of Kind of, uh, I could sit it in my lap and try to use it that way, but I don't know if that's the best way to use a wheel and pedals. But um, yeah, but I would like to try this game with the, with the wheel and pedals as well. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm going to raise this deck real quick, and I'm just going to hit the control. Let's take a look. Yeah, we got a little bit there, but. By and large, I think we're doing okay. Don't hit the car with the mower. All right, let's hit the control again. We can see a little bit more here. Yeah, so far so good. We got a little bit over there, but I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that. I was concerned about um, all the grass that I might be blowing onto the hardscape, but so far so good not an issue we'll go ahead and get in it in uh, take a look at the backyard yeah, I'm not seeing any ooh I'm not seeing any grass yet so I think we're doing all right nice brickwork though that is some nice brickwork it's nice nice brick all right you can end the contract early by returning to your truck and still earn money and reputation points what why would I want to do that though man Oi, oi, oi. A little too sensitive. Alright, let's go ahead and drop it. Engage the blades.
There we go. Again, the hardest thing to do with the with the uh, keyboard is just is just a straight line. <laughs> this seems to be a straight line. Kind of drifts. Yeah, it seems drifting over here. I don't want to back into that light post that I know is back there. Yeah. Hardest part just to do a straight line here. Alright. Oh, hoo hoo. There it is. There it is. Boop. 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 Yeah, see, it's this. Ah. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm hoping this will be like the first mow where I don't I don't wind up with any penalties. I would be very okay with that. Oh! <laughs> See, that's why you should never say stuff like that until you're done. Because the minute you say you're gonna, oh, this is gonna make my first clean run, or or something like that, that's exactly when you wind up having a catastrophe. All right, there we go. I think I missed this. I think I had, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and ride this one again because I kind of thought that maybe I'd missed a section here down the center. All right. That's got it. You know, we still want to be aware we don't want to damage the uh, the lawn in any way. So we're going to try and get this thing. I actually thought I saw some along the edge here that didn't seem to get cut. Where are we at? 64.9%. 64.9%. This better go up really fast because... <laughs> I think this is the last of the lawn that we have to cut, right? 65, 4. 67.5. I'm wondering, to, well, we'll see where we're at when we finish it, but it, it almost makes it seem like there's something else somewhere that we're going to have to cut, maybe with the trimmer. I noticed one of the jobs I did, uh, I think it was the one that had the, uh, the tractor in the lawn. There were a lot of weeds under the tractor that I think, uh, uh, in retrospect, I was probably, oh, your blades are damaged, the ability to cut is now affected. How are my blades damaged?
I think it might be because I'm driving on the hardscape too much. Whoop, nope, wrong one, wrong one. Um, that may be the issue. That has damaged my blade, so we're gonna try and... I'm gonna go... Shortcuts here. Try to stay on the lawn proper. I think that might be the issue. Although it didn't say we were damaging the lawn, it just said it's going to affect our ability to cut. So we may have to do a uh, uh, couple swipes. in order to get a good cut going and then when we get it back to the shop we'll uh, repair the uh, we'll repair the blades not too tight stay loose in the corners take some of the wedge out as crooked as all get out. Which doesn't make me happy, but by the same token, if, if we finish the grass, we finish the grass, I'm not going to be too worried about it. incremental movements and it's moving way beyond what I want to do. 89.7, we're getting there. Yeah, I think that might have been where I messed up, was driving on the hardscape too much. So, again, I'm looking at that as a, as a benefit because then I don't have to worry about hurting the, uh, the grass. But, turns out, I think riding on the hardscape too much, with, the, with it, in, again, with it engaged, maybe if I had turned it off every time I was going to be going back and forth on the hardscape, that might have protected the blades, but I did not do that, so... It looks like though we may be able to get out of here with a clean cut, not bad. Um, and then, uh, like we said, once we get back to the shop, we'll make sure we get some, uh, take a look at these blades, maybe get a replacement here. I got some cash in the bank. Giving these uh, people exactly what they wanted. They wanted a nice clean cut with a mulching mower. So it would feed the lawn, and I think we're going to, that's exactly what we're giving them. So, they should be happy. Don't worry, I'll be happy. Alright. I think that's all of that I can sing. Not because of copyright, but just because I think that's all I know. So. All right, here we go, 95.9. Sounds like a radio station. 95.9, in the morning. There you go. Yep, we got a little wedge pattern here. We're gonna shave this down a little bit more. Alright, 99.1, so we got 
0.4% left. And then we'll be done here. It's hard to see where the, uh, I think that's it, right there, right? Ah, penalty, come on. Hold up. I got a penalty right there. Ah, the, uh, see there? That's from the damaged blades. Holy cripes, huh? All right, well, I think if we go over it again, we got 0.2% we got to get done. So, um, let's engage these blades, turn them back on. Ninety nine point four. So I'm just going to keep going over this, I guess, until it changes to 99.5, at which point I'm hoping we can get out of here. Seems to be throwing up dust, which may, I think means we're cutting. We're actually cutting something. And we did. We got dinged for a penalty. We got to kind of uh, hurt the uh, lawn a little bit with our turning. Come on, man. All right, there it is, cutting complete. I think I am gonna just leave this location. I've done what I couldn't do. Um, I've got a broken mower, so I, I need to get that fixed before I can really do anything else, so. Oops. That's okay, that's my, that's my truck anyway, so. Right, see, this doesn't seem to ever work right. If I go this way, I should go that way. Yeah. No, I go this way. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Yeah, that's that looks horrible. <laughs> Let's get this up there. There she is. All right. Now we're going to jump off. Can I fix it? Cutting blade change. Oh, I guess I can. I can. Oh, there you go. I fixed it. Well, let's take a good look. Like, first of all, we'll look at the front. And... Um, I don't see any blue, I don't see any white here, so I think we did a good job here. Let's go take another look, oop, we'll take a look at the back. Actually, I don't see anything, do you? So maybe going over it, uh, repeatedly. Yeah, it's clean. Alright, well. 
Dunsky Dusky. We uh, took 27 minutes and 31 seconds to go ahead to do that lawn. 58 Colville Street, nice and clean. Crisp and clean with no caffeine. The Uncola. That looks beautiful. I'm helping people to live their best lives with the best lawn. Okay. Ground check bonus of five pounds two shilling, I guess. Ground check earnings 20 pounds. Penalties and fines, three pounds 30. Um, collisions, <laughs> three pounds, three, three shillings. That, uh, yeah, I got a ground damage, 27 pence. Is it pence or shillings? I don't know what it is, but we made 296 pounds point, uh, 296 and 72 pounds. How do you say it? 296 pounds and 72 pence. I don't know. Shillings. I don't know. Um, but we did it. So there you go. Overview plus 255 reputation points. So we're at 296.72 to 665.08 contract one of one. Okay. So if we, what? Accept all? What is accept all? What is that button? The straight arrow. Advertising campaign updates. Size isn't everything. 20 experience points. Thank you. Our credibility rank has gone up to level three. New level unlocked. Um, amateur challenge 06. Very cool. Um, upgrade in progress. How, the, how long does this take? Okay. <laughs> um, it's going to take five days. So there you go. And we will get one bay. We're not going to buy a new headquarters. Advertisements. I think we've got local flyers going social media ad I don't want to do that um nope um headquarters I don't want to do that or that I don't still don't have an, enough room in my garage for a second mower so until I have one I don't really feel the need to hire anyone so we're not going to do that what time is it we've been on for about a half hour let's see what we got here we got the 62 colville street it's a one star complexity 325 pounds we got the davies garden at 635 euros and a three star complexity with a reputation point of 265 we got 58 colville street are they all 58 Colville Street? Because it seems like I'm reading a lot of 58 Colville Streets. 325 pounds, one star complexity. Then we've got the Front Garden Old Nook College, uh, Cottage, not College, 295. Let's go with the Davies House. The Davies Garden, Hilltop House. The Davies Garden at Hilltop House features a piece by the illustrious modern artist Michael Davies. The surrounding lawn requires a general cut. With a mulcher or collector, be very careful not to damage the installations and ground or high fines will be incurred. Summary, medium area, flat, high fine. 635 pounds, 265 reputation points. It's a three-star complexity. We've got to cut it between two and two and three-eighths inches. Two and two, three. Okay. Got to cut it to 99.5% completion. It's a general cut. Uh, we got five minutes and 40 seconds to check the grounds, 29 minutes to do the cut, five, 51 and a half uh, and an eighth inch recommended deck width. Current grass range is five and an eighth to seven and seven eighths. And they want me to cut it down to two. And two. <laughs> you really shouldn't cut more than half the blade. If you cut more than half the blade, what happens is you will send the grass, it shocks the grass. Okay, and once the grass goes into shock, it will stop growing for a bit. But what doesn't stop growing are the weeds. So what winds up happening is you're kind of retarding the growth of the grass and allowing the weeds to to actually start to flourish. So as somebody who knows way too much <laughs> about grass, there you go. From my house to yours, the more you know. Um, but anyway, so that's all i'm going to say about that and you don't ask me because i won't i won't say it again there we go we're going to go cut this grass though we'll see what happens this is going to be a long one 
and I probably should have picked another short one because we're already halfway through time here. But I have a very high opinion of myself. So, <laughs> so, so we're going to bomb this out real quick. I got. I want to get the. Uh, I know I shouldn't really talk about other games while you're playing one, but there's uh, the the Aquarius. I don't know whose game that is, but I have uh, I have an aquarium and I, I I have fish. I like fish. Fish are cool, um, and I think it would be cool to play the Aquarius. But that's just me. But I am a cool guy. So there you go. So here it is. Um, it's not too unlike what we've seen in the past. Correct Amundo. I think might, we might get the string trimmer and just kind of go around some of this stuff to give ourselves a little bit more space out away from it. But it does kind of ring similar to what we've already seen. So I like that it's a, like an ampersand sign and it turns into a number sign. That's a pretty cool. That's a pretty cool deal, man. Seven objects, though. Wow. People come to visit. And they make a mess, huh? I can't see what it is. One. are small too. Two. Although it does help that you have a number. You know what you're looking for. Three. Five. Two more. I have a feeling they're going to be oop, six. So we got one more. Just a stick. There you go. Seven. All right, we got that. See, that's kind of cool. And you look at it from this side, and it's a hashtag, which is also like a number sign. At and hashtag. That's awesome. That's all, that's pretty brilliant. Um, and I should know because I'm pretty brilliant myself. Brilliance recognizes brilliance. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Of course I am. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Um. Oh. All right. This is going to make me sick. <laughs> Again, you gotta hold the left mouse button, then you pull back, and then you gotta try and steer with the um, WASD. So it's it is a little bit of an issue. Uh, again, this might be easier with the uh, with a controller. Um, Lord knows it couldn't be any more difficult, could it? <laughs> um, so, 
we just want to make a little bit wide so we don't have to get in so close to this stuff. We don't want to bang into it for sure. For sure. Oh man. But it's difficult to pull back on the mouse and not be herky jerky about it. Alright, oh nope, they're too far out. Oh. Bro. Alright. Just the way I planned it. Had I planned it, that's exactly how I would have planned it. It was just like that. Although I think if I came around the other side, let me just try something. If I come around this side though, you see how we're kicking up all that grass and it looks like it's going into the, the fountain. I'm wondering if I come from this direction though. Yeah, see it's throwing it off to the left, so throws it back out into the uh, lawn so we don't have to worry about it. There you go. Alright. Alright, and then one more pass right here. Alright. Sorry. And I think I want to get around here too. I think the rest of that, what we'll do is we'll just, uh, we'll start mowing and then we'll come back and maybe touch up with the trimmer before we call it a, a day. Oop, you're not going straight though. There we go. No, 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 you're going... Ah! Turn it off first. Turn it off, pal. Turn it off. Why do I keep veering out into the middle of the yard? Alright, first of all, get on this thing straight line. There you go. There you go, brother. Now you look like you know what you're doing. And that's the key, as long as you look like you know what you're doing, you'll be alright. You don't actually have to know what you're doing. You just need to look that way. Alright, so we got a little bit of space between uh, the installations, which is good. Probably could uh, try to get around these trees. Again, WASD is not the most conducive for tight corners. <laughs> But if we can, I just hit a button. And I'm hoping that won't come back to bite me in the butt. I hit a button. I shot an arrow in the air. Where it lands, I know not where. Alright. We got the, those two. Eh, I'm going to go get the mower. Like I say, if we, if we need to, we could just play off. And not get so close and then just come back and touch it up with the trimmer later. But the trimmers are kind of for the birds. Wait a minute. Is there more over here? Oh, there is? No. I can't mow over there, though. Yeah, I can't get in there. Okay. So I have a feeling that that's probably going to be another mission. The Golden Gnome. And you'll probably have to mow both of these. But um, at this current time I just have to worry about the one area so that's what I'm gonna do there you go put that back in there let's get on to here with this oh I might need to fill with fuel you gotta hold it man 
I didn't fix the blades last time. You gotta hold the button down. Uh-oh. Hold C, not Q. Alright. Here's the other thing, folks. Um, I can't really read that. Two and three quarter. What was the what was the job again? I can't really remember. Uh, two and two, two and three eighths. And this is at two and a quarter, two and three quarter, which is too big. So we want to go C. Two and three eighths is where we should be, right? Two to two and three eighths. I'm going to leave it at two and three eighths. All right, so we got the mower going. I'm going to throttle up. I'm going to start to pull out here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves situated here. We're going to try and run the border here. Q to engage our deck. Z to get our blades rocking and roll. Oof. I wonder if that counts as a collision. I'm just riding along the uh, the wall there, trying to get close to the edge. I'm wondering. I'm betting every time you hear that collision sound, that's that they're saying that that's a collision. <laughs> Oi, that's going to be a collision. You know that. <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all what an actual collision would look like had you been in one. That that kind of would look like that. Right along. Ah. All right, that's another collision. That's on. That's on me. That one's on me. Yeah. I'm deep in these woods here. Although to be honest with you, I'm getting a really nice tight mow here. Yep, should have stopped at one. <laughs> should have stopped at one. Oh, we'll see what we can do here. gonna grab the string trimmer when we're done and we'll get that one we'll get those done. Oi! Oi! Oh dang damn it. Alright now I'm bouncing all over the place. Come on man. Yep. I think I'm going to wind up having to eat some uh, reputation points and cancel out of this job because I, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention and now I'm, 
I'm gonna, this is gonna be late. I'm gonna be really late if I try to do this whole thing. So I may wind up just killing this, this job here. Although now I'm starting to get the hang of the uh, keys. And maybe we can get around and like I said, then just try to hit the trimmer. Trimmer into the corners. It's a good thing you don't have to uh, watch your height with the trimmer because I would be horrible at that. I am constantly just turfing it big bald spot. Oh man. And uh, it tends to, tends to go a little bit quicker when you're not trying to be so uh, precise. As you can see and now I actually now that I'm I'm off of the edges I don't have to I'm not worried too much about the edges. I can just fly around and do what I gotta do here. There we go. I think I undercut that one, but that's okay. There's a little bit of length there that I need to come back and cut. All right. So far, so good. Have at you. Although this is this is a big lawn. This is a big lawn for big people. This is a big people lawn. All right. Slowly, slowly moving towards the center. with every pass. Alright. So how are you guys doing? Everybody doing okay? <laughs> Just get around here and buzz this out real quick. Hopefully we can get it done relatively quick. 14 minutes, 30 seconds. What did they say? I thought, I thought they were saying this one would take us some, somewhere in uh, 27 minutes, I thought. Maybe I'm, I'm overestimating. The one thing you can be sure of, I am guesstimating. Because I don't know for sure. Oh, okay. Here we go. 20.2% done. Now that percentage marker is moving slow, ain't it? Oops, went a little too deep. heavy right in there. We may have to come back and go over that section again just because that one it's not going to cut very well being overloaded like that. But we'll see what we do. We'll see what we do. And again because we're cutting so much this is up at what was it what did it say I thought it was close to like seven at the up, upper um, and we're cutting it down to two and three eighths I think. Two and three, yeah, two and three A's. That's a big cut. That's a lot of cut right there. 
most uh, most of your landscaping experts wouldn't even attempt a cut like that. They just wouldn't do it. They just wouldn't do it. You would have to come to me because I'm the only one who'll do it. You know what I'm saying? I am the only professional who will do a cut like that. Where am I? I'm lost. Because <laughs> I just rolled over already cut grass. So it does get a little hard to see at times too. It does get a little bit hard to see. Okay, we're at the hour mark right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with this or if I'll just I'll bite the bullets, take the uh, hit to the reputation points, and walk off the job. I'll feign some kind of argument with the owner. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever I need to do to get up out of here, but I, I got to get up out of here. <laughs> Ultimately, I got to get up out of here. So, or do I continue just to keep going and see see if I can't get this? We're at 30.8. Uh, 30.8 percent. We're flying around at a good clip right now. Uh, obviously, the cut will get a little bit more, slow down a little bit more once we get to the middle, where and we start running into uh, the trees and the different uh, the different insta installation situations, like that one there. But gave ourselves a little bit of space so I'm hoping that it won't be as bad how are we doing all right so far so good that clear ah we have left grass clippings hold Q to get off and clean what what grass clippings did I leave that's uncut You're lying. Pick up grass, F. What does recover mean? Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, recover means return mower. Recover mower and put it on the truck, which I didn't want to do, but nobody asks me. Wait a minute. My mower is gone. recover so all right so it moved it back I guess to where it was okay okay T to increase the throttle we're still at two and three eighths right yeah I wish they would do something about that so I don't have to move it to read it. Because once you get out kind of here into the grass and stuff, it gets hard to see. It just gets hard to see. That's down. Wait. Alright, that's down. That's running. And now we're moving. All right, so a little delay there, but we're back on board and we're making time. 37.1. For a while there, I thought that was moving a lot quicker than that. Now I'm not so sure. All right. 
coming around. Whoop, 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 whoop. Get there. Get there, brother. All right, we're just going to pull up on this side. Again, we don't want to crash. And we're going to go around this side. Oh, you. Which I. Nope, nope. There you go. Nope. There we go. All right. Ooh. All right, so, um, I don't know, maybe I should start squaring these up too rather than just keep running them on this pattern. Just start going in squares. Tighten it up a little bit. We'll see. So if you're out there, let me know what you think of Lawn Mowing Simulator. Let me know uh, if there's something you'd like to see me do or try or if you'd like me to overload the engine and just not cut very well. You, you let me know. Uh, drop me a comment. Leave me a, leave me a word in the chat. Chitty-ditty, chitty-ditty, chitty-ditty chat. Because I'm all about the chat, yo. All about the chat. Let me hear ya. A one, a two, a three. Take me out to the ball. That's what they should do. They gotta come up with a DLC for baseball. Although I think this is a European company. So, you know, American baseball or cricket fields. You know, that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? You, you land a contract, try, uh, taking care of a of a, of a uh, what do they call it? Um, a soccer pitch, or um, you know something like that. That would be kind of cool if they could get a tie-in with uh, Major League Baseball. Maybe even use Major League stadiums. And again, obviously, you can open it up that to uh, any, everything, you know, everything and anything, soccer, football, baseball, ba uh, well, you can't play basketball. <laughs> can't play basketball on the grass, Pete. Um, bocce, you can play bocce on the grass. So you got a, you got a world-renowned bocce court that you got to take care of. And the uh, bocce finals are coming up. You need to, you need to get that thing in tip-top shape. So, all right, we're over. We're in golden time right now, so don't tell anybody. Everybody be quiet so I don't get caught. But we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to finish this off. We're almost 50% at this point. I'm going to cut these back a little bit more square, I think. I'm going to try and square up the whole thing, really. Ah. Uh, Alright, and then I think this one will do straight line right here. Got it. That's alright, we'll do that. Oop, oop. A little bit of a hill there kind of throws you off too. I'm going to catch, do I catch, oh I lifted my finger dog nab it ADD is satisfied. All right, all right. Going up and down hills, like I say, it's a little bit harder to hold that line when you're doing that. 
we're at 50.8 percent Yeah, so this is uh, this is it here. Um, just gonna keep riding this mower back and forth until we can get this lawn all cut up. Hopefully, we'll be able to impress the uh, impress the clients, earn some more reputation points, put some more money in the bank. Obviously, always good to make some money. It's one of the things I'm doing in uh, Car Mechanic Sim right now is I am uh, doing some jobs so that I can... Uh, well, that's what I usually do. I'll get in there and I'll do a bunch of jobs so that I have a bunch of cash that I can spend on the cars that I'm trying to rehab. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun with that. I do like the uh, Mechanic Sim games. I, I uh, geeked out, first of all, on the uh, Train Mechanic Sim. Uh, really like that. I still have that loaded up. I've passed the... Uh, kind of the story mode and I'm into kind of free play now where it's you know um, in the story mode you open uh, each of the workshops uh, kind of on a schedule so you start in the diesel uh, once you've completed enough jobs you get to unlock the uh, electric shed once you finish in the you know once you get to a certain point in the electric shed well then you can open the steam shed um, I got all of them opened and so uh, at this point I can move between the sheds as I want you know if I want to do diesels I can go over to the diesel shed and work on diesels if I want to do work on the electrics I can do that so that's kind of cool um, but by the same token um, because it kind of lacks that uh, narrative that straight line kind of A to B to C to there's a reason why you're doing everything kind of situation um, kind of I've lost a lot I haven't lost a lot of interest it's just I don't feel the impair it um, doesn't feel as imperative as it once did you know what I mean you felt like you had to do it we had to keep doing it because we had to keep unlocking stuff but now um, since everything's oh I'm just kind of talking and not paying attention but now that everything's unlocked it kind of feels like well I can always go back whenever I don't need to go back right away but I definitely will go back at some point because I do enjoy the game. Um, I do enjoy the mechanic games. Uh, I'm enjoying lawn, uh, lawn mowing sim, obviously. It's another one, but uh, there's a lot of them out there. And uh, I kind of want to look into some more of them. They got the tank mechanic simulator, which I, you know, looks like a lot of fun as well. So let's see if we can't kind of. We'll take this side and try and finish it off, and then we'll... Try to finish this off as fast as we can, as well as we can. Because now I'm really in golden time. It's an hour and 13 minutes. Um, this, is ga this game is really one of those games where, you know, if you've got a certain amount of time, it, it gets difficult because... You've either got really short missions, which you can get done relatively quickly, or you've got longer missions that take you a while to do, and it's deceptive because you'll do a short mission and go, oh wow, I still got a lot of time left. <laughs> then you grab a long mission and you're like, oh, now I'm late, I'm late. Uh, so we'll see what we can do here. And obviously, I think there's always the option just to back out of the contract. You're gonna, it's going to cost you reputation points, obviously, but hopefully it won't cost you a whole, you know, everything. But if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. And I may be facing a that's what you got to do scenario here. 613 I was a little sloppy. Trying not to damage the ground, but I took that turn way too wide. Hey, 
There you go. So even though I've been doing this one, it still seems like I'm a long way from even just finishing this one side. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm getting closer, but it's like, and then you come around on this side and you're like, no, we still got a lot to do on this side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this side. Whoop, not paying attention. And then on this side, we're up to the trees, so... Alright. Oh no, I missed that corner. We will have to come back and clean it up. The other thing I noticed is when I'm doing this, I'm doing WASD, I'm pushing down on my, on the heel of my hand, which is making my entire hand numb. <laughs> it's losing circulation, so that's probably not good. But every time I play that, that's kind of, when I'm finished, my hand is just completely numb. Uh, so again, another argument for maybe pulling the controller out next time and making sure you have that plugged in before you before you get going. No crashes. There we go. All right, we rubbed it. We scrubbed it. We scraped it a little bit, but that's okay. I got touch-up paint back at the garage. It won't even. The more will be like just just like new. Get in there closer to that tree. Rub it. There you go. There it is. Oi. That was what I missed before. All right, 71.7, boy, we, that, that jumped up quick, didn't it? Seemed like we we're having trouble getting out of the 30s and then all of a sudden now it's 70. All right, so we're gonna pull up here. We're gonna try and get around this tree here. And then we're gonna, oh, let's scrub it, let's scrape it. Scrub is a combination scrape and rub. And that'll cost you a pretty plenty in some places. Oh, just kidding. I'm just making jokes here, folks. They're not aimed at hurting nobody. A good scrub never hurt nobody. There we go. Oh no! Oh. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it. We'll have to go back and take a look. Don't want, not too tight. Not too tight. There you go. Hey, we got it. Looks pretty good to me. I think we do the other, same thing on the other side, and then we'll do the uh, the middle section. We'll go uh, we'll go perpendicular to where we're going, how we're going now.
VA got a little wider down here, didn't it? Certainly did. Alright, so I think this section is done. We'll go ahead. I'm going to need to get some gas though soon. See what we're looking at here. Uh, lift that up. Hit the control button. Well, we got a little bit, huh? Not bad. And again, we'll get in there with the string trimmer for that. Let's go ahead and do the other side now. Um, oh wait, I turned my head. That's why. I'm wondering why I'm not moving in the direction I'm looking. Come on, Mr. Mouse. Actually, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a pass right here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll start on the uh, same spot on this side of the statue because I think it's going to be pretty much centered up. So Q and then Z. There she goes. And again, making use of that, uh, that strip that we made with the string trimmer just to get us out a little bit further away. And it works out well. Seventy nine point nine per cent. Take this. Yeah, we just gotta try and square this up a little bit. We're down below half a tank, so we may need to stop for gas at some point here. We're at forty minutes. Um, like I say, I think the initial estimation was going to be was close to 39, I think it was 39 minutes. Or maybe it was 29 minutes. I know there's a nine in there somewhere, so. All right. Yep, yep, here we go. Not bad. 83% done here. We're still moving and grooving. I have to get me a new keyboard soon. Seems like my W key is starting to slip. Maybe it's just my hand going numb. I'm not pressing down as hard as I think I am.
I wonder if there's a way to lock it into forward. Um, I'll have to look at the key bindings because if there is, that'd be great. You know, once you get it kind of moving forward, uh, then it's just about moving, you know, steering. But, um, but yeah, trying to hold hold it. That's I think that's what's giving me the conniptions. Trying to hold the thing uh, through the whole cutting. A little bit of no overload situation there. Trying to do as best as I can uh, to continue a straight line here, but it's hard. Because I don't have anything to kind of go off of. Alright, let's... Oh, sorry about that. Um, actually, we could probably take this right here. Ouch! Yeah, I think my W key is starting to go. Oops! <laughs> Whoop. There's a spot there that we missed. Cut that up. Cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. There we go. 88.5, so we're getting close. I kept you an extra half hour. Sorry, folks. Typically, I don't try to. I try not to do that. But and I had to plan. I, I was going to come in. I was just going to do that one uh, small place. Just kind of get around, do that one. Look pretty simple. Um, but then it just seemed like we were we were done too soon. So then I was like, well, I got to do something else. <laughs> we got to do something else. Ninety point eight, so we're getting close to the finished here. All right. So I got to do this little section here between the two trees, and then I got to do the middle sections, which I think I'm just going to run back and forth uh, from one side to the other. Not uh, not long ways like this, but we're going to we're going to cut it short ways. Uh, the danger with that, of course, is the increased amount of turnaround that you have to do, which. Uh, could possibly wind up causing harm to the uh, lawn. So again, try to try to avoid tight turns. I think I got to come down again. Yep, I need to come down again. There we go. Oh, I knew there was something over here. All right. All right. All right. Oh. There it is. That was a little bit too tight. I gotta watch. Oh, I did. I, <laughs> I knew it. I knew I was gonna have to be careful, and I didn't. And I wound up taking a penalty for harming the grass, so.
Okay. Yeah, this is going to be one of those we're going to live with in lawns, so... I will check it when we're done, but the honest to goodness truth is, it, it, unless it's really horrible, I'm probably just going to take it as is in the end and just kind of take off because, like I said, we're a little late. Ninety-six point three. And the morning zoo. 96.6 in the morning zoo. Hey. Playing all your lawn mowing favorites from yesterday, today, and tomorrow. 97. I think we're in, in, we can probably do this with one pass at this point. Yeah, cut it in half. Oh, or just take the whole thing. <laughs> Again, it kind of, it lurches. I don't know why it lurches like that. That's, uh, you think you got yourself all lined up, you press the forward button and it kind of lurches over the wheels and it seems to kind of slip. So that doesn't help you at all. 97.3. I think we're going to get to 99.5. We'll take between here and there first. Just because. All right. All right. All right, man, 97.8, getting closer every swipe. All right, 98.1. Don't turn so tight, you're gonna Take half of it. There you go. And now I think all we have is that back section. So we should be good to go. Getting low on gas. So I think we'll be able to finish this by just in time because I think we're, we're going to be running out of gas at about the same time. So it really kind of works out well. All the way around 98.7. Ninety-nine. We need point five. And that looks like a point five to me. <laughs> so that's point two. Um, I think we're going to be there once we get this done here. Uh, and then, like I said, I think I think I'm going to be happy with it, unless there's some really that. Ah, yeah, they're giving it to us. So now we're officially done. We could probably pull out now, but I'm not going to do that with this little strip left. And we just want to make sure we got everything here. And All right, lift up the deck. That'll make it quiet that's nice all right let's hit the control and see how we did ah. 
All right, we got a little bit over there. The corners, obviously, the edges around the bushes. We knew that. All in all, not too bad, I don't think. Yeah, back in that corner there. Well, I think I'm happy with it. What about you guys? I think we call it a day, huh? We put in some time. Contract complete. 51 minutes, 24 seconds. Now it's telling us we need to leave the location, which we will happily do because the day is over. Oh, missed it. I missed it by that much. All right. No, we're not going to do that. Nice car, though. Ooh. He's got a lot of nice cars. I can't even drive my own truck. I gotta get in over here. Leave location. Goodbye. So there it is. I think it looks pretty good. I think we did a good job. I think if we had some more time, we might have we might have gotten in there and polished up a couple of the sh corners a little bit better, but. All in all, we gave them a cut that they wanted, and I think it looks a lot better. They can enjoy their sculpture in peace and harmony. All right, folks, well, thanks for being with me. Hopefully you'll come back and you'll uh, tune in again, and uh, we'll do some something else. We'll either do some more lawn mowing, or we'll do some mechanicing, or we'll do some car rehabbing, or we'll hunt Bigfoot or something. But uh, there's enough going on here that I'm sure you'll find something you'll enjoy. But until then, 